Welcome back, lesson 53 on page 65. And we continue with the third mode. I'm going to go a couple of pages back, hijos tridos. Uh, so as you can see for both irmologicon and stichiraric melodies, uh, the vasis, basis, scale, main notes, and your cadences in complete semi-final and final are the same for both melodies. And uh, here we have our scale that we chanted last time. Uh, but to refresh your memory, the basis is la. La bupani pabuga di ke And that's what's called the enharmonic scale, which is used for the th third and the varis uh, modes, hijos. Last time we chanted Efranesto Taurania, which is the apolitikion of the Tritos hijos. We talked about the continuous flat or the Sinehis diesis. <clears throat> And this time we continue with doxology or doxologia, uh, so called because of the first word of doxasi, to dixandi, to fos, doxa, glory to the one that showed us the light. And we are going to chant it first, melos and baralagi in three dosijos. Our basis is ga. Nae <laughs> This is Zo, and because of this continuous flood, Zo is going to be flood everywhere. So you don't say psistis theo. You say psistis theo. Kepigis irini. Vikezo nut. Vikezoni. No, because of the sinehes. Uh, Dieses, Sinehis Dieses. And even if the Sinehis Dieses was not there, if you take a look at the enharmonic scale, it wants Zo flat and Vu sharp. But this is there to really reinforce and remind you that this Zo should always be enharmonic. Rini anathropis evadokia. Uh, this combination here, um, it's very interesting because you have the omalon uh, that affects basically these two bits between the plasma and the oligon. And then you have the psiphiston that starts a little bit before the ison, and then it affects the even the other two characters after it, the two apostrophe. So like we said, psiphiston, it's a very versatile um, character of quality, and uh, it, it has a lot of effects. Uh, what I just did there was uh, an acceptable traditional way of performing it. Ke <laughs> ke 
καιζω δίκε, δίκε ζωνίζω και 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 δίγα, δι 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 γαβουγα. Ήμνουμεν σε ευλογουμεν σε προσκυνούμεν σε δοξολογουμεν σε ευχαριστούμεν σι διά την με γάλην σου δόξαν. A couple of things I want to tell you. It's something called elxis or the attraction. And I want to talk to you a little bit about this. Note how Vu is almost always sharp, that is really close to Ga, the basis. For example, here. Do, ga, vu, ga. By the nature of the enharmonic scale, it is very close. If you also put that this is there, it becomes almost the same, if not the same. However, this DS is there, maybe it's just there to remind you that it should be close. So the way these older musicians are using these symbols, uh, sometimes they don't take it exactly with the exact meaning where it should, uh, the way that maybe we're thinking in today's terms, that we're thinking very exactly about things. For example, the enharmonic scale, it is what it is. Uh, I just showed it to you. We know it from Chrysanthos. And then in the middle of the melody, you have Sineches diesis, or you have these reminders. I think they should not be taken extremely literally in the sense that ga, vu, ga. It's very small to begin with. It's three. If you put a diesis on this vu, it's going to be identical to ga. I mean, you cannot really split three anymore with your voice and be able to hear any difference. So I think that the, the reason they put these symbols there is just to remind you that vu should be very close to ga anyhow. Now, what is elxis? Uh, elxis means that we have the main tones that they are always at their place in the scale. And then the secondary notes, in other words, those that they are not main, are sometimes pulled or attracted, uh, in, in a manner of speaking, by the main notes, OK? Uh, let's go back to the scale. I think that's a better better way of explaining that. Okay, so main notes, the sposon, the stongi, ga, ba, and ke. Okay. Na, oh, na, ki, doxa, si, to, dixa, di, to, fos, doxa, this ke is always going to be at its place. It's never going to move. Now this zo, because it is so close to this main note, and because zo is a secondary note, because it's not main, sometimes when you chant, you have the tendency to pull that zo down to ke, okay? And this is something that if you play an instrument that plays in the well-tempered scale, you're not going to be able to do because you press a key and that's what that key plays, that note. The key doesn't know that the next note you're going to go is ke. The key knows that zo is zo and it's a half step or a step. And that's what it's always going to play, the instrument. The human voice, however, has these internal feelings and knows that ke, it's a main note in this particular melody of the third equals, and zo should be a little bit closer to it. The same thing with vu and ga. 
ga is a main note and vu is sometimes pulled up, attracted by ga. Ga being the main note and vu being the secondary note. Alin su doksan. You could say doksan. I've heard many um, traditional chanters say doksan. Do you remember when we were chanting the Heruvikon and the Kinonikon, the long hymns? And those were in plagal of fourth mode. But many times we had this cadence. No, or ne, and without even thinking, I, 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 I equated these last two tones. I didn't even go one down. It's exactly the same thing here. It's exactly the same idea. This is what Elxis means. Okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring to your attention is this sign that is called the enharmonic thora or the enharmonious thora. It's placed on zo and ga. And from that point on, you switch to the enharmonic scale. Uh, it's just like any other thora, let's say the diatonic thora. We have the uh, thora for ni or the thora for ni, uh, the or ni diatonic. And from the moment you see that thora, you start chanting diatonic, if it's a diatonic thora. And we have the um, Malachi chromatic e, soft chromatic scale that we have uh, the thora of the or vu. And from that point on, you switch to chromatic. Well, this is the equivalent for the um, enharmonious thora. And we are going to use it here in this piece right there. Stihirarikon <coughs> now. Excuse me. The Kedi Gavu Gadi Kedi This is the diatonic thora of ge. So from this point on, up until you see that enharmonic that brings you back to the enharmonic scale, you have this intrusion of diatonicity into your melodic line. So this whole line from here to non is diatonic. What's the main difference? Well, zo is not flat 
anymore. That's the main difference. That's the only difference. <clears throat> okay. Instead of ecton, instead of that, ecton. Okay. It's a different thing. Ecton. Ecton. Non any ton and tc Flutter, pre, flutter. If all of these were these two pedasti were oliga, we say si pre pi. But now si pre pi. So you hear that uh, uh, difference there in performance. That's the flutter of the pedasti. Okay. Here I explain uh, what I said before about elxis, the attraction effect. Uh, so I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, that's for you to uh, read on your own. Um, and I think we are done with uh, these echoes. And next time we are going to talk about tethertos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.